Sincerely Grace. So today I have another unboxing video and I am very excited to film this for you guys because today um, today's unboxing is a brand that I've been wanting for a while. I don't have any items from this fashion house, um, but over the weekend I was able to purchase an item and add it to my collection. So without further ado, let's start with the unboxing. So the brand or fashion house that I added to my collection is a Goyard item. And oh my goodness guys, a little bit of story time I guess. Um, I've been wanting an item from Goyard for a really long time. Every time I would go to the LA area um, here in California, I'm based in uh, Central California. It's only about two hours away. I used to always see this purse and I'm just like, oh my goodness, that's very interesting in all kinds of different colors. Um, and I was very drawn to it. It reminded me of the Neverfull, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. But I just never walked into a Goyard um, boutique at all. So over the weekend, um, I actually went into Goyard. I actually scheduled an appointment and I knew exactly what purse I wanted. I had actually um, walked into Goyard for the very first time back in January of this year. And I actually wanted a purse for everyday work, work wear, I guess you can say. I wanted a purse to be able to wear to work. Um, I knew I wanted this in the black canvas and I wasn't sure whether I wanted a black with a brown trimming or all black all around. Um, so I will show you guys what I decided to go with. Um, but I do want to mention that I thought I wanted the very popular Goyard Saint, um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, give me just a second, Saint Louis. That's the tote that I had seen all around. But whenever I actually went into Goyard, they gave me a little bit of history as to what the purse is intended to do. And the material itself wasn't as, I don't want to say as durable, but it's not as thick as to what I'm used to, which is the Louis Vuitton canvas totes. It is more on the flimsy side. It's not very structured. And the sales associate actually told me that the St. Louis tote was initially made um, to be used as a beach bag, which makes sense now with the feel of it, um, how it's not structured. So I decided to put that maybe later on on my wish list as like a summer bag, um, but I knew I wanted a work bag in black. So the sales associate was very nice and he pulled out this purse. He's like, this is more durable, more structured. It has um, reinforcement on the corners because I have read a lot about the St. Louis purse um, wear and tear on the corners. Since it's not as durable or as thick, the corners do tend to wear um, more easily as to the purse that I got. So without further ado, let me show you guys the bag that I chose. Actually, another thing. So whenever I went to Goyard, since this was my first purse, I made an appointment to go in. I had already viewed the purse that I wanted. I knew the color that I wanted. So I called the boutique and I let them know like, hey, can you please get me in at this time? They were very gracious. They already had the bag for me. They wanted me to inspect it before they basically packaged it for me. And whenever I got there, I looked at the bag and I was like, okay, it's perfect. Um, that's fine. You guys can go ahead and basically box it out, box it up. I'm so used to Louis Vuitton. You know how they come in boxes and they come all wrapped. Well, this associate told me, um, ma'am, we don't do boxes. So I was a little bit embarrassed because I obviously didn't know. Um, but now I know that Goyard does not do boxes. Just FYI, if you're looking to purchase it, don't be surprised if it does not come in a box. So this is the bag that it came with and it did actually, they sailed it with a sticker here, a Goyard sticker here. I have opened the bag and I actually have worn it already. I couldn't wait. 
Um, but it does come with, so they do wrap it with um, tissue and then again with another, with another sticker. And then they just have it in a dust bag. So they did go ahead and put it in a dust bag. So let me show you guys the purse that I ended up with. Gosh, these, these bags are actually pretty durable, these dust bags. So this, this is the bag that I chose. So this is the Goyard Artois in the MM size. I think, I don't know whether I'm pronouncing that right, but it's the Goyard MM in the Artois with the black canvas and black trim. Now the black canvas, you can also, um, purchase it with brown trim, but since it was for work, I decided to go with all black. And like I mentioned before, this bag is different from the St. Louis because it does have the reinforcement here at the corners. And another thing that I love, it comes with a zipper. The St. Louis does not come with a zipper. So this comes with one zipper here, and then it does come with a, let me take this off. It does come with, a, uh, what's called a pocket, I guess you can say. Just like the um, Never Full does, it just come with the pocket. I know that the St. Louis comes with an actual pouch. This does not come with a pouch. So I am just very excited to actually have a courtyard in my collection. Um, I remember whenever I purchased it, my husband's like, why did you go with that? I've never heard of it. And I was like, well, a lot of people probably don't know because it's not as often mentioned, I guess. And there's only a handful of boutiques in the entire world that actually sell Goyard. Um, but I just, I just love the look of it. I knew I wanted to eventually add something in my collection that was from Goyard. Even if it was a passport holder, I didn't care. I wanted to add something. Um, but I was very fortunate to be able to pick this up and I am very happy with it. Um, like I mentioned, I do eventually want to add a St. Louis bag in my collection. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of backstory, I'm gonna set my purse down. Um, Goyard's canvases come in very different colors. There's a variety. They basically have kind of like paint swatches, but they have a um, they have a selection where you can basically look at all the colors and see which one you want to pick. Now, the black canvas is the only canvas that is basically a standard size. It's a lower price if you were to choose a color one. Now, if you choose a color canvas, any color besides black, the price automatically increases. So just be aware of that. And if you're curious to know as to the price for this um, Goyard Artois in the MM size, the price that I paid for is $1,945. Um, and with tax, it came out to $2,129.78. Um, again, if you, I was to choose a color canvas, um, the price I think increases by about $500 if I'm not mistaken, or probably a little bit more. So um, I knew I wanted black because I wanted to go ahead and utilize it for work, but definitely if I do decide to add a St. Louis tote, I plan to do so in a color um, option. I also want to go over how the purse looks on my frame so that way you guys can get a little more of an idea on how it fits and to see if this it would be a good purse for yourself. So let me show you guys. So this is how it looks on my frame. As you can see, um, I think this shape of a purse and length is perfect for my body frame. I am 5'7", about 130 pounds, 
Um, and I love the way that this feels. One, because I want to say this bag is actually a slightly smaller than the Neverfull GM, which I do own. Um, and I like that it doesn't stick out as much from the size. I also like that these straps are actually a bit longer. So I believe that this toe actually sits better on your shoulder. It allows more room and it's overall more comfortable. Um, but like I said, I really do love my purchase and I am very happy that I went with the Goyard Artois in the MM size. Well, that is all for today. I hope that you guys truly enjoyed my video as much as I did. And if you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and definitely don't forget to subscribe. I love making videos on fashion and particularly handbags. I just have a real passion for handbags. I always have and I really enjoyed um, sharing it with you guys. So I will see you guys next time on my next video. Bye.